Fellas, you both know the rules. Keep it clean. I don't want anything low. Watch your heads. I want to say break, take a step back. Most importantly, defend yourself at all times. So there's been a lot of talk about this fight, but finally we can get it on here. Round one. Moorcroft in those white shorts, Bennett in the blue and white, the Liverpool fan and Moorcroft landing that jab straight away. George Groves has joined us in commentary, I'm delighted to say. And I know you've been looking forward to this. This could be very, very close. Everyone sees it as 50-50, George. Yeah, I think so as well. Both fighters are definitely up for it. It's, it's almost a derby. They're not that million miles away from each other. They share a same, same promoter and the same division. So it's an exciting fight. It's a fight that was easy to make. They both seem really up for it. Yeah, they both want to be Steve Woods, number one welterweight. So they also want to fight for that English title. That'll be contested between Danny Ball and Anthony Tomlinson. No date for that yet, but two punches. One of these wants a shot at Stylistically, they're both quite similar. It's good luck on match there for Moore Cross. They've both got a good jab, but it's quite tall for the weight as well. It's very tall. More Croft may be the little bit more aggressive of the two. And Bennett might be slightly the better boxer, so... Bennett says that Moorcroft wasn't on his radar until he moved up from super lightweight to welterweight. Six foot tall, Bennett. Said he was just focusing on making weight, really, at super lightweight. Now he feels he can fight again. The left took there from Bennett. He trains James Moorcroft less than the last two and a half years. He says he's the hardest working fighter he's ever worked with. Constantly learning, constantly driving, no amateur career at all. So trying to learn on the job effectively. When he started fancy and not properly, I just think as the round's gone on, then it's just, maybe that's just slightly better schooling, it's just... Somebody punches him a little bit clean in his last sort of 30 seconds or so. Lacking from a lack of an amateur career. 
Just brings the jab back to his chest there, Mark. And that's where Ben has got to try and follow that jab back with a nice tackle. A little, a little shot there from Mark. Look at the body from fights your career and for, you know, for, and for the aspirations of going forward you want to bring your best self and he turned up tonight more prof he really did all that hard work that trip to Bilbao where he was beaten where he learned so much where he grew in defeat where they were massively proud of him Rian and Dixon his great friend is going to be so proud of him as well they always said they knew they knew he was good enough they knew he could do it did he believe it? And boy, he believed it on the night. It was very typical, by the way, of Anthony Crawler. The first thing he did was go and check on the opponent. He's always had facts of class, and now he celebrates with his fighter, but he checked on Bennett first. Nicest guy in boxing. It was shaping up to be a really interesting contest as well, because I think the Mark Morkov was looked like he was dominant in that second row. But Bennett was still, you know, was answering him back, and I think it's going to be a really tight four contest. Well, we can make it official. It's the Moorcroft fans who are celebrating. Let's get to Paul. The official end of the welterweight contest falls at 2 minutes 25 seconds of round number two. Referee Darren Sargentson reaches the count of 10. The official decision is a KO. His career now progresses as he now fights for the English welterweight title. Your victor from Wigan, James Morcroft. He deserves to say